Hi, I'm Wendy Justice, your International Living Mexico correspondent. Mexico has been a favorite of retirees and other expats for more than 50 years. It's estimated that more than one million Americans and half a million Canadians call Mexico home full-time or part-time. There are quite a lot of snowbirds who come in winter months, especially from the northern states and Canada. It's not hard to see why it's so popular. There are many benefits. It's close and easy to get to with plenty of flights to Mexico's many international airports dotted all around the country. Because of the abundance of flights and the country's popularity with tourists, flights tend to be quite affordable. You can even drive safely to and around Mexico. It's just south of the border, of course. The roads are great and the highways have all the services that you would find north of the border. Mexico is largely first world with conveniences, brands, shops, and more you'll recognize from back home, along with good infrastructure, high-speed internet, reliable phone service, and more. A huge benefit is the low-cost, high-quality health care. Doctors are trained in the latest techniques and often speak English. Facilities have all the modern technology and every specialty is covered. You'll find every climate as well, from not too hot, not too cold in the highlands, to warm and humid on the coasts. There is a huge variety of places to live in this country that is three times the size of Texas. Pacific and Caribbean beach towns, lively resort areas, small fishing villages, colonial cities, major metropolitan areas, mountain towns, and more. You'll find good value real estate no matter where you go, including beachfront condos, restored colonial villas, homes in gated communities, and more for a fraction of what you would pay for similar properties back home. There are dozens of regions and cities where expats congregate, but some of the top places to consider in Mexico include Puerto Vallarta, a Pacific Coast resort town known for its great restaurant scene active nightlife, the long seaside promenade, sunset happy hours, boating in the expanse of Bahia de Baderas, and condos with panoramic ocean views. The historic city of San Miguel de Allende in the colonial highlands, founded in the 1500s, strolling through the central is like walking through history. Plus there is an intense focus on the arts here with many galleries, artisan markets, and live music every night of the week. There is also a longtime retirement haven of Lake Chapala, including the lakeside village of Ahihik, which expats have been coming to going on 60 years. Other prime destinations in the Central Highlands include Guanajuato, Morelia, Pascuaro, and Santiago de Corredero. And you can't forget the Riviera Maya, Mexico's Caribbean coast of clear turquoise waters and white sand beaches, including the cities of Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum, and all the little communities in between. There's nothing better here than a heaping bowl of ceviche and a cold beer on the beach. Of course, that's just a small taste of the many attractive locations for long-term living in Mexico. There really is a place for everybody in this country. There are large expat communities all over Mexico, so not only will the transition be easier, but you'll also find plenty of like-minded people to get to know, and you'll be able to join clubs and engage in sports and other activities. The Mexican people are friendly and welcoming of foreigners. Plus, even though there has been an influence from the U.S. because of tourism and the expat population, enough so that in many locations you can get by with English, there is still a vibrant, traditional Mexican culture with fiestas, parades, and more. Wherever you go in Mexico, the people will charm you, the natural beauty will seduce you, and the remarkably affordable cost of living will entice you to stay. You'll find regular coverage of Mexico in the pages of International Living Magazine. Click below for a special offer when you subscribe today.